Have you ever experienced the frustration that comes with trying to get boat parts apart when you need to make a repair? Whether it's as simple as a hose clamp or something as large as a water pump, thinking ahead can make your next repair much easier. I'm Carolyn Sherlock, and on this episode of the Boat Galley Podcast, I'll tell you about one product that should be in every boat owner's toolbox. Today's episode of the Boat Galley Podcast is sponsored by Mantis Marine, maker of the Mantis Anchor, now available in models with and without a roll bar. Proven to set reliably in the most challenging bottom, the Mantis Anchor digs like no other, making anchoring safer and boating more enjoyable. Mantis Marine brings to market practical, durable, and affordable marine products, including anchoring gear, scuba diving accessories, and a rechargeable waterproof headlamp for hands-free lighting. Visit mantus, M-A-N-T-U-S, marine.com and see for yourself. So let's talk about how to keep metal parts from seizing. How often have you or someone on your boat spent hours trying to get something apart? Say a hose clamp, unscrewing a water pump, trying to remove the deck fill plug, removing a shackle on the genoa. The list goes on and on. How many gallons of liquid wrench or PB blaster have you used? No, I'm not going to tell you a secret way to get stuff apart today. I'm going to tell you how to avoid the problem in the first place. Over the years, Dave and I have learned that few cruisers know about one of our favorite products, anti-seize. Actually, I had never even heard of it until I saw it in Dave's toolbox. And that's kind of rare because my dad owned a hardware store. Anyways, Anti-Seize is marketed as a lubricant for spark plugs, and you'll most often find it in an auto parts store, sometimes in a hardware. I've never seen it in a chandlery. The good news is that it's cheap, generally under $5, and a small tube will last a long, long time. Just coat the threads of one half of what you're screwing together before you put two metal pieces together and wipe the excess off. This is one of those things where your hands will get dirty putting it on. It's fine for engines, safe up to 1600 degrees Fahrenheit. You can buy anti-seize at your local auto parts and on Amazon. And I just discovered that there is also a food-grade version of anti-seize for use where it may come into contact with your drinking water. This would be better to use on things like your deck fill for water than the standard. Dave didn't even know it existed. I have never seen it in a store. It is only available on Amazon as far as I've been able to see And the one thing to know about it is that it's only good to use up to 900 degrees Fahrenheit. I certainly don't intend for any part of my boat to get up to 900 degrees. There's links to it in the show notes for both the regular and the food grade one on Amazon. Once you open a tube of this, you need to keep it in like a heavy-duty freezer plastic bag or reusable silicone bag. If it just sits in the toolbox on a boat... Other stuff will hit it and most likely puncture the tube or at least squish it and you'll end up with this stuff everywhere and it does make kind of a mess. If it's in a bag, it's much less likely to puncture and if it does, the mess is contained. Also, if it's in the bag, you can still just stick your finger in, get a little bit of the anti-seize out and still use it. It's not wasted. On board our boats, we've used anti-seize on all sorts of stuff. We use it on hose clamps, on shackles, on deck fills, on the engine and the outboard, on pumps. Now, you do want to keep it out of the pump itself. We use it on mast and boom hardware, and it's really important when you're putting stainless screws, say, into an aluminum mast. If you don't use Tef Gel, which is another favorite product, anti-seize is great for this. And anywhere that we use lock nuts, we always use anti-seize. If you're not using lock nuts, you're going to have to choose between using anti-seize to get it apart in the future or Loctite to keep it from coming apart into motion. And uh, if you live ashore part-time, it's good for lots of land projects too. Anywhere that two metal pieces come together. 
That's it for today. Thanks for listening to the Boat Galley Podcast, where I try to tell you about products you may not have known about otherwise, as well as other tips and tricks for living aboard. If you like what you heard, please leave us a five-star review and tell your friends. 